Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be on the topic random forest. It's an ensemble learning method used for used mainly for regression and classification purposes and it's really helpful in cases where your training data set is very limited or if it's not a very good representation of the real world data. For more details on the theory behind random forest, please check the videos listed in the description section below. In this video, I would be just showing you an example problem done using RStudio. So let's get started. So first you need to install the random forest package. Then you can use the library function to call the package. Here for this demo I'm using the iris dataset. You can use the view function to view the dataset in a better fashion. So today we will be using random forest for predicting the species based on other parameters listed here. The dim function tells you about the dimensions of your matrix. Here you can see there are 150 rows and 5 columns in total. Now let's go ahead and create a sample data set. You can use the sample function for that. And if you are interested in learning in detail on how individual function works, you can always place a question mark in front of the function and hit click and then you will be provided with a description of the command. Now let's create the training and testing data sets. So the thumb rule is to at least have two thirds of your data set as training set. The higher the better. So here I am assigning 100 records for the training set. The remaining 50 records I am assigning them to the test data set. Now we can create the random forest model using the random forest function. You have a lot of parameters for the random forest function but one of the most important ones is the number of trees which is denoted by the entry. The more the better but it will eventually slow, slow your process. So now we have our random forest model. You can see that there are uh, some of the species are predicted incorrectly in the model. Now let's create a predictive model using this data. Here we can see the predictions for individual records, but this is not that easy to understand or interpret. For that, let's create a table for better visualization. Huh, our results are pretty good. There was actually only one error here. And the good thing is that you can also calculate the percentage accuracy of your model. We can use the mean function for that. Whoa, 98%. This is actually the first time I'm getting this much accuracy, but I will show you each time you repeat these steps, you'll be getting different results because you are selecting the sample points at random and the accuracy entirely depends on how your predictions are. Here as you can see we got only 96% this time and it's based on the training and testing data sets we had chosen at random. Also in random forest you can find out the significance of individual parameters using a function called importance I believe. So that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching and feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. So until next time bye bye. Stop!